Hello, I'm Scott Brady with Expedition Portal and Overland Journal, and I have my first opportunity to sit inside a finished Grenadier interior. Now, we all know the off-road capabilities and the outdoor features, the outside features of this truck, because we've seen it, but this is our first chance to sit inside it. And that purpose-built, that functional exterior, all of those off-road features extend into the interior as well. This is one of the few new vehicles I have seen that actually still has a handbrake. And handbrake makes a big difference. Uh, there's not only a lot of fun things you can do with getting the vehicle to rotate for you, but you can actually provide for an additional braking capability if something was to happen to the main braking system. You can operate that with your hand. It gives for a lot of driver options when you're traveling off-road. It also, in addition to having a handbrake, it actually has a manual transfer case lever which again, normally these handbrakes are now a button and the transfer case is a dial or a button as well. So we have an actual cable operated transfer case shift lever. We can go from high range to low range and we can lock the center differential independently of that. Now, why would you wanna lock the center, center differential independently? For example, if you were pulling your boat out of the lake, you may not wanna actually lock the center differential. You'd want the low range to get the driving capability, the additional torque, but you don't necessarily need to have that center differential locked. Everything is easily operated by a gloved hand, which I think is a really important feature. So many buttons nowadays are so small. Uh, the hazard button, for example, is right in the center of the dash. When I'm traveling through Africa or developing countries, a lot of times you need to have quick access to those hazard lights and it's right there visible in the center of the dash, easy to access, but it's also guarded as well, so you don't accidentally bump it. There's also a compass right here, right between the HVAC vents that make it very clear which direction you're traveling. And then there's a big, wide, probably a 16 by nine aspect, aspect ratio screen that shows us all of the off-road features. We can connect with our media. We can also see our speed, RPM, fuel levels, etc. So this interior here is extremely functional. Now, when we wanna to start to engage some of the full drive capabilities, those are all along the top here. So it basically looks like the inside of an aircraft. So I can turn on the interior lights, I can turn on the differential locks, I can change the off-road modes, I can also select a waiting option for the vehicle. All of that's done very easily up here in the top. And again, these locking differential buttons are guarded as well, so you don't accidentally bump them. So this is a very spacious vehicle. It's surprising how much bigger it is than the Defender that I drive. Um, they look similar in size from the exterior when you see photos, but this is actually a much bigger car. It's much more comfortable on the inside. There's this big uh, door panel that you can easily rest your arm on. The steering wheel is centered in my chest, which is also nice. And then it even has this very cool secondary horn that's much quieter that you can just do a little beep if you want to get someone out of the way or let a bicyclist know that you're coming up behind him. So now we're sitting in the back of the Grenadier and we can see that this is very roomy. I'm six foot one, over 200 pounds, and it's very comfortable for me. These Recaro seats are also extremely comfortable when you're sitting in the front. They've got this nice reinforced plastic back on them that actually has a bit of a relief for your knees. So if you were even taller, it gives you a lot more knee space. One of the things that's very cool about this seating area is underneath the rear seats is the primary starting battery. And there's also an option for a secondary auxiliary battery as well. All of the fuses and most of the ECUs are also under here as well, totally protected from the environment, which I think is a nice feature and it shows the considerations for overland capabilities of this truck. There's gonna be a 400 watt and even a 2000 watt inverter option. So you'll have plenty of power when you're out camping as well. This particular seating position is, it's reminiscent of that stadium style seating. So I'm a little bit higher than the front seats. I can see over the headrest. You can also see out of these very spacious sunroofs that are actually independent between the driver and the passenger, which is cool. And they're all mechanical. They just pop up like, like an old school sunroof. So I can actually see out of that um, here in the back seat. So nice job, Ineos. This is exciting to see in person. Uh, we can't wait, of course, to get behind the wheel.